Okay, I had my gems at plus 6. I switched them to plus 8. Because I got him to 7% multiple times, so the damage is probably lacking. And last try, I got 4 KDPS almost. With the screwing up massively, so... Yeah, I had 846, now I have 892. So a slight difference there. Because execution will never be perfect due to the chaos of the fight, so... Good start, execute hits for a lot. Alright. I absolutely hate when he does that, but Velen can take it. A bit too early. But warriors really have it rough. They have it rough because they have to move around the entire fight. Although they do pull aggro quite nicely. Okay, pretty good. Oh, Jesus, man. Well, thank you, Velen, for spawning that in my way. Minus one. And shield block doesn't seem to actually matter here too much. Interrupts. Okay. Twisted reflection done. Those things push me. That's not good. And that's it. So the power of numbers just more DPS thanks to... Whoa, calm down there, chief. What the... Ah, Sophic Devotion proc, nice. That doesn't proc often, but yeah. Oh boy. Oh, flashbang. God damn it, who designed this man? So after many, many hours, just like the hunter doing raced back in the day and then using uh, War Within food, you just need more numbers, and you can only get so many. So yeah, that was cruel.
as a protection warrior. And if you are still struggling or you don't want to spend the money and you don't care about some abstract concept as gaming honor, which is probably not a thing, but in my mind, you know, I just want to do it without war with and stuff, just use pants, any pants, any greens, because they will scale. Use that 930 enchant and that should put you above uh, a lot. Because I thought this stayed at 100, but no, this scales to like 14. So, uh, yeah, this scales to 133, a tad difference of a 10x. And uh, more than 10% of your total strength. So it's the same gear as yesterday's um, Fury Warrior that struggled with Agatha for no reason. But it gets kind of tedious to bash one's head against the wall. Just because the challenges are not quite tuned. Plus, as I said, these were cheap. And I just need a few more for my Death Knight. And then I'm done with strength stuff, basically. So... It was worth the investment, although I am below 600k now. But all three warrior challenges are done. And yeah, this is this was fun at the start. But yeah, it, it probably did not require the gems. But I do have a limit of patience. And it doesn't seem super balanced. Execute carries. Uh, I'm not sure about Colossus, but I used Mountain Thane because I do love Thunderclap and it applies the bleed, which is very good. As you can see, third as a damage dealt and Thunder Blast is Thunderclap basically when it procs from uh, Shield Slam. So it's a good spec. I'll uh, link this, of course. I kept alternating between these. One additional charge is probably safer. We ended up not using it, I think. And just stun that guy and execute him because execute does a lot of damage even on prot. 15k when the Inquisitor has 30k and then the other guy is 294 or 240 or something uh, is massive. So I do recommend this build. I derped around and moved a lot of points before deciding on this one. I'm curious, for example, about a Violent Outburst. I'm not sure where to check it. Probably here. Oh, 0.14... Per, oh, uh, 0.4... 14 seconds. I can't speak. I'm so tired after this. So I think six applications. Yes, yeah, six procs. But Thunder Blast is second. I, I'm assuming if this applies to Thunderclap. What about Shield Slam, by the way? Eh, not so much. I rearranged the uh, interface a lot and... All sorts of nonsense. Um, I am curious about one more thing, then I'm going to end the video. What about... Ignore Pain? Ooh, look at that. F not that much uptime. Because there was a lot of movement and a lot of need to uh, DPS stuff. And I haven't played Prot Warrior in forever. But I think it was fine. You know? And this one I didn't really use too much. Shield block. Because there's not a lot of uh, physical damage. Annihilate is physical damage. But the problem is it's ranged. So this just blocks all melee damage. All melee attacks. So that wouldn't help. And the uh, four adds that come from the portals do arcane damage. So yeah. Increase shield sla slam damage by 30% while active. Well, I didn't really pay attention to that now, did I? Because I was busy uh, thunder clapping them cheeks. Anyway, that was it. You know the um, set, the armor set. And of course I was tanking with this fist, which is, uh, you know, kind of cool. If you think about it, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. More classes soon. So this is the first class where we finished all three challenges. So bye-bye for now.